biological control. Uh, it's going to be extremely uh, important part of the IPM tool bag, but uh, Robert, you know, there's a lot of talk out there that says uh, biological don't even count it. Uh, what do you think? Well, Blaine, and, and that's right. Most people like to discount uh, biological control, but it is a very effective uh, portion of uh, any pest control component or program. It uh, It's not not always the answer to an issue, but it sure helps as far as uh, keeping populations down. And it may keep us from making two applications where you might make uh, one application. But with the sugarcane aphid, what we found is that it it is ineffective uh, until very late in the season. So basically what we're saying is those populations, uh, those predator and uh, parasitic populations don't build up until late in the season. And by then the populations have already exceeded a, a threshold. So there's a lot to learn from about the population dynamics between the, the predators and uh, parasites and the, the sugarcane aphid. And, and I, I do see value in it regardless. And I do remember a quote from uh, uh, down, down in College Station uh, where our, our boss had said, it takes about two years for an invasive species for biology to catch up to it. Uh, so, and with the reproductive capabilities of the sugarcane aphid, uh, I, I can sure see that be the case. Yeah, I think that as as time rolls along, we'll get uh, uh, we'll we'll have a better understanding, and we have people that will be a couple of students that'll be dedicated to this part of the uh, IPM program as far as looking at biological control and uh, the sugarcane aphid. But with this particular aphid, one of the, the the downsides, if you're if you're familiar with green bug and the parasites that uh, that help us with green bug management. Lysophlebes tends not to be a good parasite or predator for uh, sugarcane aphid. Yeah, and uh, we've got most of our usual aphid uh, predator suspects, you know, your surfed fly larva, the green lacewing larva, ladybug larva, of course, uh, um, and a, a parasitic wasp that not normal on the high plains that might be moving in. Hopefully things are fine and balanced there. But uh, one of the photographs that struck me, come, I believe uh, Daniel down the valley took it, uh, was where some uh, ladybugs were, were cleaning up the sugarcane aphid. The number of ladybugs on that plant was just astonishing. It was uh, uh, the number that we had usually see on two or three plants per leaf uh, to clean these guys up. So it, it uh, did lots of lions after lots of zebras. Yeah, absolutely, and that, that, that's true. The the predator populations were amazing this this past year on these aphids, and I think it's important as we talk to agents about, uh, and our agents are talking to their clientele about the the various uh, biological control organisms out there that they understand that a lot of times the the offspring it's the immature stages that are giving us the most benefit, and they really need to be cognizant of uh, how the immature stages look versus the adult stages and they're gonna in most cases they're gonna be very different from the adults so you mentioned the surfed fly and that's the uh, picture on the upper right that uh, little fly it it's very easy you know when people ask me about the surfed fly I, I tell you know first you say have you ever seen this fly and they say no and then you say well have you ever seen these little flies that hover around flowers or in your fields and they'll say yeah well then you've seen a surfed fly and the adults yeah, we've all seen the adults, but most don't realize they've seen the offspring, which is a little light uh, green maggot that uh, will occur among these different populations, and they're a very good predator. And I think it's important that uh, that our clients understand that this is a good predator and a beneficial organism. Yeah, that little uh, green legless olive slug yeah. looking thing yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. If I understand what you're saying, the bottom line is that the beneficial insects won't keep us from reaching threshold, but if we get rid of them by using the wrong insecticides, uh, that bit of help that they give us goes away and we're going to be in a whole lot more trouble as far as sugarcane aphid population that's, increase. That's okay. absolutely correct. So that goes into uh, when we're dealing with uh, sorghum midge treatments or headworm or spider mite applications. Uh, you know, we need to look at products, and, and I think we've got a slide on it, but uh, products that are a lot more beneficial friendly in terms mm -hmm. of management here.